In this video, we're going to take a quick look at this book so you can decide if it's a good book for you. It's called Hello Habits by Fumio Sasaki, A Minimalist Guide to a Better Life. By the way, um, the book, the, the, it's a hardcover, but it's like a weird material, and I kind of like it. Um, it's just very different from the other hardcover books I have. I have hundreds of books. I collect books. And um, yeah, just I, mean, I don't have any books that have a cover uh, like this. I'm just going to smell it. Yeah, it's really weird. I don't know what it's made out of. It's a hardcover though, but it just it just feels different. I don't have any books like this, so I don't know what they made the cover out of, but it's cool. Also by Fumo Sasaki, Goodbye Things, The New Japanese Minimalism. It's been translated, so apparently this was uh, written in Japanese, uh, perhaps. Yeah, really cool, right? Interesting. So here's the content. What is willpower? What are habits? 50 steps for acquiring new habits or made of habits. And the postscript we have the 50 steps for acquiring habits and then 14 good habit inhibitors. Let's read this together. I always thought I had no talent. I could never continue to do something for an extended period of no matter what I tried. And I was always unable to produce significant results in either my studies or sports. But since I started to study habits, I've changed my mind. It's not a major issue whether or not I have talent. Because talent isn't something that's given to us. It's made as a result of a continuation of habits. There's an author that I like by the name of Kayohi Sakaguchi. His novels are written with combinations of words that are completely different from other authors. And he can write any, he can write moving melodies on his guitar and his illustrations rival those by temporary artists. He has recently been making chairs and even knitting. No matter how you look at him, he appears gifted. But I heard that even this man had been told by his father, you don't have talent, so give it up. While his brother would say, you just have been lucky with flukes from the number of attempts you've been making, there's a phrase that Sakaguchi repeats like a mantra. It isn't talent. It's continuing. I hear that even baseball star Ichiro and internationally best-selling author Haruki Murukami, and for that matter, anyone else who thrives in whatever it is that they do, generally don't acknowledge that they are gifted. On the other hand, stories about gifted people captivate us. Dragon Ball, in which talent is awakened by anger. Slam Dunk, in which the protagonist, who has so far only been getting into fights, suddenly shows off a magnificent jump. And Hollywood films like The Matrix, in which a chosen one all of a sudden becomes aware of his capabilities. Right, talent is interesting. People are, you know, fascinated by it. I agree. When you live in a real life for a while, you begin to realize that talent is somewhat different from these types of things. Look at the gifted individuals in the world. You'll see that they are all making proper efforts. There's a line that goes like this. Genius is often only the power of making continuous efforts. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yes, I mean, talent without effort, in my opinion, uh, is, I guess, wasted talent. But, I mean, there's lots of talented people, I think, that don't really use their talents. Okay, I get it. Perhaps genius refers to a person who can continue to make efforts. But then I thought, maybe I don't have the talent to continue to make efforts. My feeling now is that words like talent and effort are being used under a misconception. Talent isn't something given to us by the heavens, and effort doesn't mean work so strenuous that we have to grit our teeth. I think the concept of habits can bring talent and effort back to the normal people out there. These are not things that may only be achieved by a limited view. They are things that we can all acquire, depending on how we go about it. In brief, talent isn't something that you're given. It's something that's created after you make an effort. These efforts can be maintained if you turn them into habits. The methods for these habits are something that you can learn. Interesting. So talks to you about how to read this book. It's all about habits. What is willpower? Yeah, interesting book. Here's a schedule on a typical day. Get up, do some yoga, meditate, work on his writing blog, clean the house, write in his diary, take a power nap, commute to the library, eat lunch, leave library, take a power nap, go to the gym, shop for groceries, watch a movie after dinner, yoga, go to bed. Very, very, very rigorous. Oh, here we go. This is a great quote. I've seen this one. All of humanity's problems stem from man's inability to sit quietly in a room alone. Yeah, I've, I've read this quote, uh, this quote because um, I'm a math person. I Pascal, um, you know, Pascal's triangle. <laughs> that's how you factor. Uh, that's how you expand, uh, you know, binomials raised to powers, you know, using the triangle for the coefficients. That was Blaise Pascal. Uh, yeah, I mean, the man was a genius and that's, a, that's always a... That's always an interesting quote. So interesting book, I think, if you're interested in building better habits and things that will possibly help your life. 
it's worth getting. Um, again, the pages are pretty good quality, decent. Uh, but the cover itself is like ridiculous. I don't know what it's made out of, but I like it. Yeah, I like this book. Good luck.